Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add uh, iPads and iPhones that were not purchased through Apple through your school, so they're, they're not in your school's uh, device en enrollment program. I think that's how you say that, so it's DEP. Um, so if they are not automatically in DEP because they didn't come from Apple or from one of their DEP certified retailers, so maybe you purchased them on Amazon or uh, from some other store, and uh, you need to get them into your school's DEP uh, at school.apple.com so that you can then add them automatically into your mobile device management software. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I've already hooked up um, an iPad Mini 4, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and give this thing a name. This is, you don't have to do this, but uh, all of our iPads are actually named and tagged, and so I'm gonna go ahead and add the tag to it, and it is, me. Mm, says this is zero 02. Um, once you click off of that, it will take a moment, but it will set a name uh, on that iPad or on that device. So just gonna give it a second to finish up. There we go, so it's all set. <clears throat> so before you actually get started, there's a few things that I've already configured. I'm assuming that you've already done this, but um, you go into Apple Configurator 2 and go ahead and go to the Preferences. Make sure that your organization information is already in. If not, you hit that little plus button and then add in your organization's information. And then also make sure that your MDM server is already set up right here. So that's step number one. Uh, step number two is you're gonna go into File and you're gonna do a new profile. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up the profile that I already created. It's right here. It's called Wi-Fi Payload. And the only thing that I've done to this, I've not gone through any of these settings because we're not actually trying to set up the, the iPad. We're just trying to get it registered into DEP. So I just called this Wi-Fi Payload because we're going to need Wi-Fi on the iPad. I named uh, the identifier. I just named it Wi-Fi Payload. Again, no spaces. And uh, it's optional, but I went ahead and put in my organization. I didn't change anything else uh, under general. And then the only other thing I did was set up Wi-Fi. Now, this is really, really important because this is where it kept failing. Like we, we, we couldn't wrap our heads around this for like two months. We were banging our head against a wall uh, trying to figure this out. Originally, we were using um, WPA, WPA2 Enterprise. And then we were trying to set up an account on that enterprise that would automatically log into Wi-Fi. The problem is, is that you have to physically um, select trust on a trust certificate. And so the whole entire thing kept crashing. So what I did is I had our network admin set up an access, one access point in the whole school. There's one access point that I have access to with an eu.mdm, so that's our MDM, and they set it up as a WPA, WPA2 personal um, access. So that way, all I had to do is, is set up the identifier and then punch in a password and it goes straight in. There's no accounts that need to access it, so no trust certificate is needed. Very, very important step. Once that is all done, you can save that. I just saved ours out to documents. Now you need to go ahead and highlight the iPad or iOS device that you are setting up, and then you're gonna click prepare. Now this is the next really, really important step. And I set it to prepare with manual configuration and make sure that add to device enrollment program is checked. And this one by default is also checked. You need to uncheck it. The activate and complete enrollment must be unchecked for this to work. Uh, then just go ahead and click next and choose your MDM. Click next. I punched in my organization 
Next, I said don't show any of the steps for the setup assistant because the MDM is going to take care of all of that later on. Uh, okay, next on this one, and this is where you're gonna hit choose and point to the Wi-Fi payload config that we set up earlier. And once that is done, you hit prepare and <clears throat> wait for it to prepare the device. And then you're gonna come over to school.apple.com and log in. <clears throat> Click on MDM servers and you will see that a new device, so right now I've got zero, but a new device will have been app added by Apple Configurator 2. And over in this pane over here, it will have the number of devices and it will give you a download link that will download a CSV with all of the devices that you have added. It'll, it'll give you their serial numbers and you need those because the next step is, is to click on device assignments, copy and paste all those serial numbers into here. And then down where it says choose action, you can now tell it to enroll those devices into your MDM and now you're ready to go on over to your MDM and put all the settings well, in. Well guys, that's all for this video. I am still working on setting up these iPads for multi-user login. So if you have any experience with that, I'd love to hear about it in the, uh, in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, you can just drop down below and leave me a quick comment or question. I'd love to answer that in a future video. If you're not already following the channel, please take a second to subscribe and you can find me over on these other social media platforms. Would love to connect with you there. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.